Hi guys, welcome to Yoya Cooking. In this video, we are going to prepare a type of kueh and the main ingredient for this kueh is a banana. So um, this kueh is called chikoro pisang or also known as kueh kodo or even known as jemput jemput pisang. Pisang is the Malay word for banana. So let's check out the ingredients because if you have leftover bananas at home that are really ripe and you don't know what to do with it, this is the recipe for you. So let's see the ingredients. I have here with me a very ripe banana and this is the kind of banana that we are looking for. So I have here about 300 grams and then we'll move on to the flour that we'll add on to the banana and that would be some rice flour and wheat flour. We'll all be also adding some salt and also baking soda. Now to add some sweetness to this kueh, uh, besides relying on the sweetness of the bananas, we'll be adding some sugar too. So just um, it's really up to your own preference whether you want your kueh to be extra sweet, but try to cut down on the sugar, we'll be, uh, we want to be very careful with that. So it really depends on how sweet your banana is. Now using a fork, all I'm going to do now is to just mash these bananas. We're just going to mash this until here we can see like a big chunk in this bowl and then it's good. This is really one of my most favorite kuehs in Malaysia and um, back home in Malaysia they used to sell this on the street and we can get it in trees for about one ringgit. I'm not sure if they're still selling them at that price but you know this is really good for breakfast or even tea time so you have to make this at home especially if you are a banana lover. This is the recipe to go. The next step is the most important step in this recipe and that is to add everything into the bowl except sugar. So pour this flour in. Now that the mixture is ready and uh, I've added everything inside except the sugar, we'll move on to the stove here. I've heated up a pot of oil and because we are going to deep fry this squid, therefore we need a lot of oil. Um, and I know that this oil is ready because using a chopstick, I'm just going to poke it in. So I see some bubbles coming up from the oil and that means it's ready. The oil cannot be too hot or else it will burn the kueh immediately. So before frying, we're just going to add the sugar and then mix it thoroughly. Now it's time to fry chikoro. So I'm going to use a spoon by picking up a bit of the flour mixture. I'm going to transfer it into the pot. It is not easy to shape the chikoro into a very uniform ball. Now don't be too strict about it. What you can do is just as we put in the mixture into the pot, let it sink for a while and then using another spoon, we'll push it up slightly and by itself it will just float. So using this spoon that we use in the pot here, we're just going to shape the ball. So we're going to fry this chikoro until it is brown in color and then it's ready. So for example, this one. Now the chikoro pisang are all ready and they are all mine. So I'm going to taste it right now. Let's take this one here. It's still hot. From the smell itself, I can smell the banana. Let's bite into it. Did you hear that? So there's light crisp, uh, crispiness on the outside. Look at the inside. Look at it. It's soft, springy. It has all the qualities of a good chikoro, I would say. So try this recipe. It's great with coffee or tea. So you can have it with your friends during tea time or your family members. They will love it, especially if they are banana lovers. So um, remember to connect to me or on Facebook, uh, Twitter or Google+, and now Instagram even. So send me photos of recipes that you have tried. I can't wait to see them. Um, remember to subscribe to Nyonya Cooking. And see you in the next video. Happy cooking! Boiling, we can add a glutinous rice.